Xander, uh, congratulations, and um, you want to just hold this for us, my friend? Thank you Steve so much. Pierce. So check this out. We, we just have Alex Corey here. I think maybe this is a good place to start. I know, because Alex told me this earlier in the year, first thing he did when he talked to you, he challenged you. He, he talked to you said, hey, all right, you know, I, I know what you're capable of, right, of achieving, you know, with the greatest shortstops in the game. How much did that inspire you? How much did that help you? this year I think him being a position player being a shortstop obviously helped me uh, to get better especially defensively he, he's helped me a lot uh, positioning wise this year we had a different philosophy about the defense uh, I think that definitely helped because in the playoffs we were we, we played a pretty great defense all around and obviously just being a hitter he wanted me to be more aggressive in some situations it, it helped out but some situations it didn't but most times they're not it did it did help how, how did Alex he was just here how you talk about all the communication, the texting, making you feel more yeah. comfortable. Give us an example of how he made you better this year by communication. I think, uh, I mean, I have a little bit of years in the big league now, maybe four or five, and for him to be able to text you and be like, hey, you know, when do you want off? You know, uh, wow. either today or tomorrow, just plan ahead. I mean, that's stuff that, that obviously we never had, and it's been amazing. It's been amazing the communication he's, he's had with us and the amount of rest that he's been able to give us with the training staff. Okay. I know you you are one of the guys right there that has been around for the past five, six years. I remember when you first came up, little kid, that you were trying to figure things out. What has changed since last year's approach to this year? Uh, I think last year I got injured pretty pretty bad, and I, I kind of tried to play through it. And this year I got a, actually a similar injury, and I, I didn't I played a little smarter and, and got it rested until it was healthy again. And I think that definitely uh, was one of the biggest decisions I've made, and, and that has helped me uh, maintain the whole the whole season. But actually, winning this year and compared to winning in 13, we had him to do it all in 13. <laughs> right. But this year we had a whole the whole lineup, the bullpen, uh, pitcher staff, everyone chipped in uh, on like 30 where he did it all alone. You you never win by yourself. I would remember that. He, like, he, he never really went by yourself. He did. He like, did. <laughs> well, that's the question I was going to ask. You know, losing this guy two years ago, Pedroia down this year. I mean, I'm sure you had to take more of a, of a of a role as a leader. I saw you guys come together. True definition of team. Was it four or five guys in the locker room that that, that took that step as, as captain, leader, or was it just one or two guys? I mean, obviously, Chris Hill. Uh, yes. That kind of reminded me a lot about that speech that David had with us in uh in St. Louis, and then Johnny Gomes coming and hitting a home on that same evening. Uh, I kind of got some flashbacks from that. Uh, obviously, it was a great game all around, but those are memories that you you will never forget as a, as a baseball player. Now, KB, it hurts me to say this because I bleed pinstripes, right? <laughs> but but your average age, starters 27 years old, you may be looking at the start of a long dynasty. What are your thoughts on that? I was thinking that the other day. I was thinking that the other day because we have so many guys that are young. Uh, a lot of endeavors is probably one of the youngest, and, and this is first year winning it also, uh, f first full season. Uh, hopefully we can keep all the guys around, and, and because this, this, this is an amazing team, three straight uh, pennant races, uh, division champs, it's, it's been an amazing ride. Xander, I wanted to ask you before we let you go, you know, the only game you lose in this series was a marathon, 18 innings, but uh, Nathan Avaldi's performance was one of the most inspiring I, I've ever seen in a postseason game, and when he came out after the home run, you guys all waited for him. That, to me, really showed me something. Can you just take me through that moment in time, even though it was a loss, and, and how that maybe could have bonded you here to get you through I mean, the next? he wasn't even scheduled to pitch that day. He was scheduled to pitch, I think, today. Uh, and he threw almost 100 pitches. And he was pretty much dominant the whole night. Uh, a ball that went by a few feet over. Uh, good swing by Muncy. But he pitched with everything he had, his whole heart. And, I mean, he's been incredible since he got traded. And in the postseason, he was even better. Go enjoy it, Xander. Thank you, guys. Thank awesome. you, Xander, Xander Bogart. I see you in the marathon on Tuesday. <laughs> yeah.